Snow sports are challenging enough, and especially if you have special needs. Grant Hardy headed to Mount Washington in BC to find out how a jam-packed four-day festival on the slopes is changing lives, including one that was almost lost. My car was found in a creek that had rolled 15 times through the trees, but I was luckily thrown out of the vehicle and I was two and a half months in a coma to repair myself. Alan Riva's accident changed his life forever. After sustaining brain damage, Alan's career as a professional snowboarder was over, and he didn't know if he'd snowboard again. That's where the Vancouver Island Society for Adaptive Snow Sports steps in. Every year, the Society holds a four-day Adapted Snow Sport Festival, where people with disabilities can get out on the snow with instructors. With traditional barriers such as cost, gear, and transportation removed, participants like Alan can focus on having fun. That's perfect. I just follow along with my guide, and they know exactly how fast or where I want to go, and they've been excellent in just taking me where I'd like to go. The festival also has beginners of all ages and skill levels learning how to ski or snowboard. Here, 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 Eliza, I'll give, give, reach your hand out. Reach your hand out, I'm gonna give you a little pull. Hi, I'm Leah Carlos. And I'm Elijah, and I'm seven. Elijah is one of seven children. Three of our kids have special needs. So we actually have three kids here today snowboarding. Elijah is taking part in it because he has a visual impairment and he has um, DCD, so he has a hard time with his muscles sometimes controlling them. So he, um, being on a snowboard has really helped him because he can, doesn't need to use both legs. He can stand together with both of them together. All right, Stacey, you ready? Are you ready to snowboard? Are you ready, are you ready? My name is Peter Gardner Harding. I am the festival coordinator for the Winter Snow Sports Festival here at uh, the Vancouver Island Society for um, Adaptive Snow Sports. And I'm wearing this jester's hat because it's important for students, parents, and instructors to be able to pick me out of a crowd. We find that when people get up to four days, they can make some significant progress in their skill development as well as their love of the sport. Ultimately, uh, our hope is that all of our new students will come and fall in love with the sport and become uh, recurring students over time with us as they develop and get better. We've figured out a number of different ways to adapt these sports to accommodate uh, people's special needs. And if you have any curiosity at all or any desire to try an experiment, we have the skills to be able to help you do that. Okay, we're gonna start moving, buddy. We're gonna go. It's gonna be. Oh, Yahoo! Let's do it. Yeah. I'm Mike Spooner. I'm the vice president of the Vancouver Island Society for Adaptive Snow Sports. It's really fulfilling uh, to be able to take somebody who uh, is learning something new or relearning something and uh, to be able to adapt. And uh, each of the instructors, I think, takes a personal interest in uh, their students. And uh, especially during this festival where you've got four days to get to know people, you can see real progress. I've been doing this for 15 years and you see so many examples of people that are just uh, in a new world, doing something that they didn't think they could do or didn't think they'd ever be able to do. And uh, it's opened a whole new world for them, for uh, physical activity, and socialization with uh, peers. Taking that initial step is important, and Alan is certainly glad he did. Yeah, it feels so nice, especially for my body. It always needs to be moving around, and it's a very comfy, soft feeling gliding through the soft snow. Feels great. The festival is so popular that they can only accept a limited number of students every year. So check their website at visasweb.ca, that's V-I-S-A-S-W-E-B.ca, for more info on the next one.